So a um, couple of random facts about me here that I think would be very cool to share is number one, during this is like an overbridge uh, during any <coughs> rainy season type you know time. Uh, one thing I do, many people don't know, only my close friends know, I wear a raincoat, take a two-wheeler, come, stand and just uh, watch nature, you know. I stand on a place like this and I watch the nature. That's like one of my favorite things to do. And uh, I do that because it gives me a lot of perspective. When I look far into the trees and the hill or some river or houses, you know, uh, because yeah, I think spending time with yourself is very important. Hey, this is Vishal Sarkar, just uh, gonna be reaching to the hotel now. Uh, quick thing, if you ask anybody, hey, what's your ultimate goal in life? You know, ask anybody on road, they would say, well, I wanna do this, I wanna do that. And then if you ask a little further, say, oh, but what's the ultimate thing? They would say, I wanna be happy, right? Everybody wants to be happy, but why is it so hard for people to be happy then? So I just slept for a couple of hours, I think uh, two and a half hours or so, uh, feeling fresh, <coughs> two and a half hours, uh, not, not like a night sleep, it's like a nap in the afternoon, feeling fresh, um, feeling, feeling really fresh, but I woke up hungry, I didn't eat anything for lunch today, um, so came to this restaurant downstairs and thought of actually eating something. And uh, let me try a few of the things. I'm gonna <clears throat> give you an update in some other videos about the, all the amazing food that's available here. But I wanted to share this quick little exercise that I do. Learned it from uh, Paul Mort. And it's an exercise that is actually mentioned in the book called Solve for Happy. So the whole idea about this exercise is, you know, most of us don't know uh, in actually what gives us happiness like we want happiness but we uh, know a few things but we don't know so the exercise is very simple that I did many uh, quite a while ago that actually changed my life which is take out a journal uh, and a pen before tonight's dinner and just write this headline I feel happy when dot 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 and then below that come up with 20 30 50 100 whatever how many ever you want things that make you happy. So for example, I wrote, I feel happy when I'm at a beach, I eat at a great restaurant, you know, I hug my life partner, I give a kiss on the forehead of my mother, I get impactful emails from clients who are winning big, I go for a walk, I go for a run, I get drenched in the rain, I go for a two-wheeler scooty ride in the middle of the night. I wrote all sorts of things and you know, when you know what makes you happy, then it's very easy. Then whenever you're unhappy, you look at the list and say, hmm, which one is easy for me to do now? Which one is easy for me to do now? So do that exercise. I'm going to give you an update later on about what's happening here. Had a long day. Look at that Buddha. I don't know if you could see this, but had a long day. Actually going out for a quick walk right now. It's very crowded here, but uh, you know, I love exploring. <coughs> um, Unwalked on roads, you know what I mean, you know, the roads that I've not walked on. Like walking is one of my favorite things to do ever, whether it's at a beach or whether just randomly going for a walk uh, beside the road. This is, this is the thing. So had a lot of different things to do today, had a few business calls as well. And uh, happiness is a choice. I'm gonna be doing another segment on that very very soon but I wanted to just drop in and say hello to everybody following here uh, yeah I'm not gonna be walking for a very long time today maybe 20 minutes 30 minutes max uh, but you know it gives me a lot of energy you know as I call the dose DOSE dopamine oxytonin serotonin and endorphin so yeah, good to be back here. See you soon.
just just got the boarding pass made it on time going through the security gate hope i make it hope i don't have to take another flight made it on time let's talk about this fact that you know one thing i see that oftentimes people talk a lot about things that they don't have a right to talk about and what i mean by that is many times people give advice which they themselves are not applying in their lives for example just i think last week i was talking to a uh, to a lady um, on the phone and she was she was telling me all about that she wants to be a great trainer and i believe that maybe she will be a great trainer and she was telling me that she wants to change people's lives and she was you know giving me a very very strong case about well you know people should be happy people it's very easy to be happy it's very easy to be happy this that and um, you know people can should be happy happiness is a choice and blah 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 and then when she stopped i said are you happy and she said well i guess i'm not i said then uh, see the problem often times people are busy giving advice that they themselves are not ready to accept it's like creating a medicine that you yourself are not taking um i think you know doing things that really make you happy um yeah then become that first so it's not about just happiness whether you want to be healthy you want to be a great example for your kids remember people will do half of what you do right and double of what you do wrong so yeah happiness is a choice then go and be fucking happy right like for for me you know going to the beach or spending time with my family or um you know having a great cup of coffee or just watching the sunset you know all these things make me happy and i do that and i can confidently say that in today's world there are many hypocrites people who are talking about leadership and they have not led their family well they have not led themselves well they have not led their company well they are talking about oh leadership training many people talk about time management and they don't have any personal productivity a lot of people talk about entrepreneurship and all they are doing is this it's like a 16 year old kid who's talking about entrepreneurship and all the respect to the effort but the thing is you have to own the right to talk about what you're talking about and i firmly believe that i think that it's time that people give less advice and first of all apply that advice less talking more doing let's end on that <laughs> all right so there are a group of 40 people here i want you to tell us in one line what did you like the most about the program one person to at a time quickly commitment Commit. commitment okay commitment and we could i mean uh, <laughs> yeah and, uh, we could control our emotions and nervousness and ultimately we could i mean change our attitude okay, okay. all right yes installation <coughs> installation all right commitment okay. and self love okay easy to use techniques which we can use you know easily implement every day amazing action taker action taker affirmations affirmation for me is uh, result oriented is confidence installation wow amazing love yourself Love yourself. Commitment. Commitment. Balance in life. Balance life. Very very inspiring team. Very very inspiring team. Powerful techniques for presentation. Amazing. Our staff team is awesome. Impactful in influence. Super. Same person online or offline. Body language. <laughs> Positive energy. Hey, what do you guys have to say about two people? If somebody is watching a video but they want to come to the confidence speaker conference, they are skeptical. What's your message to them quickly? In five seconds. Do it anyway. Do it anyway. Okay. Just do it. Yes. Absolutely yes. worth it. Everyone must do it. How many of you feel? How many of you feel that you have improved your public speaking by coming to the confidence speaker yes. class? Yes, I have. Yes. One, two more questions. How many of you feel that you have improved your communication, confidence, and belief about yourself after coming to the confidence speaker yes. class? Yes. yes. Last question. How many of you feel that the moment you get out of the door, your life is going to be better than it was until yesterday? Yes. yes. Okay, good man. Thank you so much for being here. Awesome. Give yourself a round of applause. Okay. Woo! That's all I have. Let's go. Have a great.